we will now discuss another algorithm okay previously we have studied about approximation algorithm and now we will discuss about randomized algorithm okay uh, so basically randomized algorithm can be used to solve a wide variety of uh, real world problem like approximation algorithm and uh, they can be used to more quickly solve through np complete problem and uh, an advantage over this uh, approximation algorithm is that the randomized algorithm will eventually yield an exact answer if executed with enough time okay so first uh, so, so obviously you have uh, understood the approximation algorithm in my previous uh, lecture so we will uh, now discuss about randomized algorithm okay so so randomized algorithm basically use a random number okay so you can say that like this way and uh, algorithm uh, that use uh, random number to decide what to do next anywhere in its logic is called randomized algorithm okay so an algorithm that use uh, random number to decide what to do next uh, anywhere in its logic is called a randomized algorithm and uh, this algorithm is used to deduce space and time complexity this algorithm is used to reduce space and time complexity okay so let us do one uh, uh, diagram so normally what a diagram is suppose say the input is given over here and here is a deterministic algorithm okay so this is a deterministic algorithm and input is given to here and we will get the output this is normally we used to do but in case of uh, randomized algorithm another thing is given that is the random number random number okay so random number and input we both things will uh, ultimately given to deterministic algorithm and we will get the output okay so uh, now let us see where the randomized algorithm are uh, particularly useful okay so we can say that uh, they are particularly useful in some uh, in uh, cryptography or in quantum computing okay so to write a note on this let us write uh, let us uh, uh, say that uh, randomized algorithm okay are particularly uh, useful okay when it faced with uh, uh, you say some malicious adversary adversary malicious adversary or uh, where the attacker uh, who deliberately tries to feed a bad input 
to the algorithm okay uh, so for this reason for this reason randomness is ubiquitous in cryptography okay so for uh, in cryptography pseudo random number cannot be used okay since the adversary can predict them okay which make the algorithm deterministic okay so therefore uh, either a source of uh, either a source of truly random number or a cryptographically secure pseudo random number generator is used and another area is quantum computing where random number is used okay so these are the two areas where we uh, use the randomized algorithm okay so let us go to two important okay so uh, what we have discussed here that random randomized algorithm are particularly useful when it faced with some adversary and where attacker can deliberately tries to feed some uh, bad input to the problem okay uh, so uh, in cryptography pseudo random number cannot be used uh, because uh, if pseudo random number is used then uh, the problem becomes uh, or the algorithm mainly becomes deterministic and it is uh, easy very easy for the uh, attacker to easily hack them so either uh, a source of truly random number uh, or a cryptographically pseudo random number secure pseudo random number generator is used so that the attacker cannot hack uh, so this is one, one place where uh, randomized algorithm is used and another uh, space uh, another uh, area where random num randomized algorithm is used is in case of quantum computing okay now uh, we have to go through uh, two algorithm regarding this uh, randomized algorithm that is one is called uh, las vegas algorithm and another is called uh, your monte carlo algorithm so first uh, let us uh, go for the las vegas algorithm okay so let us do with las vegas algorithm Las Vegas algorithm okay so what is the criteria that output is always correct output is always correct and number two is the example is that randomized quick shot randomized 
quick shot so we will learn this randomized quick shot quick shot okay so let us write the algorithm so algo search uh, repeat suppose this is you are going to fed one uh, array okay so for uh, let us write the pseudo code i equal to 0 i less than equal to i think n minus 1 and it is i plus plus for uh, j is equal to i plus 1 now why it is i plus 1 i hope you will understand j less than n and j plus plus okay and next uh, if uh, a of i equal to equal to a of j okay so if it is this one then it will return true okay and so this is the normal uh, search and with the use of uh, randomized algorithm so algo with las vegas okay search same thing just i'm using the randomized algorithm while you have to give the condition do now first you generate one random number i is equal to random this number is generated and mod n plus one okay also j you have to generate by this function so this function is everywhere available in any of the code C, C++, Python, Java this to generate a random number. Now if i not equal to j okay, and a of i equal to equal to a of j okay, then return true okay, and this. So this is uh, this uh, normal uh, basically uh, what uh, we have done over here let us take uh, take one uh, array okay so let us take one array and these are the elements in the array so we have to what our main focus is we have to check whether uh, there are uh, elements in the array are same or not that is suppose it is given that 8 9 8 1 9 2 3 10 these elements are given so we have to check that whether there is any repetition or same number exists or not so what you have to do you have to first uh, take this value okay and you have to check this value with all these numbers okay so one loop will be go from here to this one and another loop will check this num uh, this number with this number so from it will go from this 9 to this one so let us say that this is ai okay and it will check with from j j will start from i plus 1 so j have start from i plus 1 to this one okay so so and if it is uh, same then it will return to okay the the same number exists suppose this 8 and this 8 will be same so it will return that true so same thing is done with uh, using the random number here what will done you will uh, first generate two random numbers and suppose now why this condition is there i not equal uh, not equal to j because suppose if i equal to equal to j obviously i equal to equal to j means this number will be checked with this number and if this happens then obviously every time we will get the same same that then the, the, that number is present so it should be happen that uh, when you are checking with a particular uh, index uh, we have to check with that number in the index with other number in the index not the same number not, not the same index okay so two random number is generated maybe uh, it may so happen that this i and j will uh, first i will generate this number uh, suppose this number and j will generate j will give this uh, this index number and we will just check that whether both are equal or not and something you have to keep in mind that i not equal to j it may so happen that both the random numbers can generate the same index okay so in that case uh, number will be same but we will not go for that so this is a using uh, with uh, this algorithm this is a normal algorithm but this is using that the algorithm with some using the random number okay so this is uh, called las vegas uh, algorithm okay 
now we will uh, go for another algorithm that is called uh, monte carlo algorithm okay so let us go for the monte carlo yeah so for the monte carlo let us go for the monte carlo monte carlo algorithm okay so in case of monte carlo algorithm two things we have to remember that output may not be correct output may not be correct and number two uh, randomized median randomized median okay so let us write that uh, first algorithm algorithm search a is array and this is the element you want to search for i equal to 0, i less than equal to n minus 1 and i plus plus. If a of i equal to equal to a, then it will return that is the, num that the number you want to search is, uh, is in the array itself. So it will return true. Okay. And same thing for Monte Carlo. Algo suppose Monte Carlo such here you will pass that array that element and x is the number of uh, uh, the number you know, to which the loop will run okay so for i is equal to 0 i less than equal to x this x this till x this uh, number will the loop will execute and i plus plus next year what we will do we will take a variable j and it will it will have some random number okay so we have write like this one mod n plus one okay and next this if a of j is equal to equal to a then it will return true same thing okay this is without using some uh, randomized uh, algorithm and this is using the random number we have generated this it will check whether that uh, you uh, that element this a element is present in this array or not okay for this what it will do it will first generate a random number okay uh, and uh, that will give a number j and we have to suppose the number it will give some index number and we will see that whether that in uh, the value in that index number is equal to that given number or not a or not okay so if it is found then it is true else it is false so this is the monte carlo algorithm uh, next uh, we will finally we will study about what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, that it is advantage and disadvantage of monte carlo algorithm so first of all uh, this algorithm is very simple and efficient okay it is much more simpler than best deterministic algorithm and uh, it gives better complexity bounds and it is very competitive to other algorithm okay so let us uh, write first the advantages so advantage so we can write that it is advantages is simplicity and efficiency okay and it is uh, much more simpler than the best deterministic algorithm which is available okay uh, it also gives it gives some better complexity bounds obviously it is much more useful and it is also very competitive competitive okay so these are the advantage and according and the disadvantages obviously there are some disadvantage 
so first one is uh, computer architecture tries to predict the future behavior the future behavior of algorithm and algorithm to optimize to optimize its execution its execution and second number you can write that it is useful only for very hard problems randomized algo is useful only for only for very hard problem very hard problem. so these are the more to disadvantages so still now what we have uh, just learned about this uh, randomized algorithm is that that uh, this algorithm uses random number to decide what to do next anywhere in its logic uh, and this algorithm used to reduce time and space complexity so we have learned about uh, what are the where uh, why this randomized algorithm is used uh, basically it is used in quantum computing and cryptography and we have found that uh, what are the advantages advantage is simplicity and efficiency and disadvantages is uh, that in computer architecture used to uh, predict the future behavior of this algorithm and another advantage is uh, randomized uh, randomization is useful uh, only for very hard problems and we have studied two algorithms one is las vegas algorithm and monte carlo algorithm so this randomized algorithm and uh, approximation algorithm basically uh, they comes in the short note in the university exam uh, so and give five marks so i think both if you study this you will get exactly five out of five okay so this is all about randomized algorithm and approximation algorithm okay thank you